Muskets are coming to Sengoku Dynasty. This game is improving fast, and whether you've been playing or haven't played Sengoku Dynasty yet, you'll want to hear this. Since my initial review of Sengoku Dynasty, Super Kami has pushed out two updates packed with quality of life improvements and even posted a Q&A discussing the game's upcoming direction. There have been numerous of small adjustments made to the game, which I can share in detail via the patch notes, so let's talk about this Q&A. Super Kami recently posted a Q&A session on Discord titled Mansions, Muskets, and more, delving into the game's prospective updates and future game additions. Let's talk about the guns, specifically muskets. Given the historical context, many players have asked if these firearms will make an appearance. Super Kami has confirmed that muskets are a high on their priority list. Perhaps this will be released in the upcoming combat update that has been promised, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was held off to later. Another question was on the topic of character customization for co-op mode. It seems like this feature is geared specifically for co-op to distinguish players. As for single player mode, customization options will likely remain unchanged for now. Another question that has been asked is how in-depth the skill tree will be. If you have played so far, you probably know the skill tree is rather... lacking. However, Super Kami has plans for four extensive skill trees, each containing dozens of perks. This approach sounds bigger than Medieval Dynasty skill trees, and I'm interested to see what the trees will look like in the future. Mansions are another popular topic. There are a few NPCs with estates, and players have wondered if they could construct something similar. Future updates might allow us to design modular or personalized estates. However, smaller buildings are likely to retain their current designs to adhere to historical accuracy. Personally, I hope for a touch more furniture inside these buildings. Regarding the villagers' AI and their tendency to idle rather than gathering resources, Supercom acknowledges the system's current limitations, especially when compared to the dynamics of NPCs in Medieval Dynasty, and they are working to refine AI behaviors, aiming for more organic villager activities. So hopefully we get to see more lifelike AI in the future. Another question was if we get to choose a different start, and I assume they are referring to the beach starting location and they answer that they plan to have different starting specialties and locations in the future, but that they need to work on the skills before then. It won't have any effect on the story, but starting gameplay, skills, and equipment will be different at the start of playthroughs. Players also want to construct pathways, and deployable roads seem to be on the to-do list. Super Kami mentions adding more buildable fences, walls, and roads. And finally, Steam achievements for Sengoku Dynasty are in the pipeline. Achievements will come once Super Kami is happy with the mechanics that are pending implementation, so I assume this will be one of the final additions to Sengoku Dynasty, because they will need to finish implementing all of the systems they plan to add. Going over the most recent updates a little bit, fast travel has been introduced, allowing travel between bell towers from your village. They added the pause button into single player. They've changed item stacking modifications. There are a bunch of new map features, including zooming, panning, pins, and animal locations. Broken tools will retain their original key bindings, stone and iron deposits, create smaller deposits when broken, and you can actually interact with things while holding a hammer now. So what are your thoughts on the Q&A? Is there anything else you'd like to see? Leave a comment below. I for one am pretty excited for the future of this game. We've had about 4 updates in the last 2 months, and almost half the problems I addressed in the video have been fixed or updated, so I'm pretty happy with that. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out my initial review on the game. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.